We have breaking news at this hour from Axios. Axios is reporting that there's a better than 50-50 chance that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell would vote to convict President Trump in an impeachment trial. Sources tell Axios the McConnell news is changing by the hour on this impeachment story. We're joined now by Eugene Robinson, associate editor and Pulitzer Prize winning columnist for The Washington Post and former Republican Congressman David Jolly, who left the Republican Party in 2018. Both are MSNBC political analysts. Uh, Eugene, it is moving fast. Uh, Axios mm -hmm. reporting on these sorts of things is has been reasonably reliable. Uh, this is Mike Allen reporting this for mm -hmm. Axios. He yeah. has very good sources. Uh, I, I personally don't like that kind of um, th that racetrack stuff of 50 50 odds. Yeah. Uh, th that's not the kind of description that makes sense to me in the Senate. Uh, it could mean anything. Uh, but uh, we've already seen McConnell uh, d definitely make the choice of letting it be known, knowing it would seep out to The New York Times, mm -hmm. that he is glad this impeachment is happening. Yeah, I think that's what McConnell is doing today. He is he is he is letting it known and letting it be known that he is done with Donald Trump. And he is appalled at what happened uh, last week and how the president incited it. And uh, and I don't know if he would actually vote for impeachment, but the fact that he has put this out there um, and, it, and it doesn't get out from McConnell unless he wants it out. Um, in conjunction with uh, Liz Cheney's uh, statement uh, about, about how she's going to vote for impeachment. And I would wager a lot of money that there was communication between the two, uh, uh, certainly between the two camps, uh, between the principals, um, is, is a signal. And, and it's giving cover to Republicans uh, to vote for impeachment and to vote to convict uh, if they wish to do so. But I'm not going to, you know, make bold predictions about uh, the fever, the, the Trump fever having, having broken yet in the in the Republican Party. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll believe that when I see it actually happen. Uh, I, I, it's it, it, for one thing, I, I think, frankly, there are a lot of these Republican House members and some senators who are physically afraid <laughs> of what, what will happen to them um, at the hands of their constituents if they vote for impeachment or if they vote to convict. I mean, that's what Donald Trump has done to the Republican Party. Uh, and they let it happen. They benefited from it. Uh, and now they're at its mercy. Uh, David Jolly, uh, your reaction to what we're learning tonight and the reporting of uh, by The New York Times, especially about Mitch McConnell, uh, having sure. uh, basically a cooperative telephone call with Joe Biden about the procedures uh, for an impeachment trial in the Senate, as well as the additional reporting that McConnell himself might, might, Axios is saying, uh, vote to convict Donald Trump in a Senate trial. Yeah, Lawrence, I think it's important to contextualize what we're seeing among Republicans right now. And I mean that on a couple layers. First, to contextualize it around the fact that had Donald Trump not incited an insurrection against the United States, against the Capitol, against the Senate and the House members, he still would have full control over the party. So the notion that this is the breaking point is significant because these are people that for four years have allowed Donald Trump to get to this moment. And then secondly, I think the verdict is still out. We don't know if this if this is a real crack within the Republican Party because the people we are seeing come out, McConnell included, are not really surprising to be the first ones out, right? Katko, Kissinger, uh, uh, Kitzinger, uh, McConnell, Cheney, those aren't the real surprises. That's not the bedrock Trump base. And so it may be that the fissure stops there and the real Trump Republican Party holds this week. But on McConnell, we can't take away the power of a leadership shift, a real leadership shift. If McConnell were to shift, it gives permission to every other re Republican senator to consider that vote again. And assuming all, all Democrats vote to convict, perhaps not Manchin, but you only need 16 or 17 Republicans then. And all of a sudden, this is a, a conviction that might actually be in play. 